Hello friends, today we're going to do a little maintenance on this home light chainsaw. And this is an old timer. A little saw. That's probably either an XL series or a Super 2, I'm not really sure. We're going to go through the carburetor on. Pretty basic stuff. We're going to show you how to take it apart, disassemble it, and get to everything. And then we will clean the carburetor out and see if we need to do anything more than that to it. So, I got a do where's that here? Three eighths, seven sixteenth inch wrench to remove the one nut that holds the bar and chain in place. So we're gonna remove this nut. Next, we'll remove the recoil cover screws. And there's four of those. The five sixteenths or slotted screwdriver. One, two, three, four. And then after we remove those, we'll remove the upper handle screw with a Phillips screwdriver where it attaches there that way we can pull the handle and recoil side cover off in one unit. Once side cover is removed we'll remove the four frame bolts that hold the engine assembly to the frame. There's two on the bottom and two on the top. Also 5 16 inch screws. And once we remove the kill switch wire and the spark plug, the whole engine assembly slides right out sideways along with the oil and fuel tanks, the muffler, and everything we need, which allows us clear and easy access to the carburetor, the clutch mechanism, the muffler, the ignition coil, flywheel, anything we need to service is now very easy to get to once the engine assembly is out of the case. So we can see the clutch mechanism on this, this drives bracket does show some wear and you know I don't like to see that on there because that's can affect how the chain pulls but you know honestly this is a rather old and cheap saw so it's not going to be worth putting a lot of extra money into. We're not even going to rebuild the carburetor we're just going to take the carburetor apart and clean it. He's got a little issue I probably could have just adjusted the carburetor but I wanted to show you guys how to take it apart and his air cleaner is a little decomposed so I figured we'd better take it apart and clean it make sure there's no debris inside of it. Now that the carburetor has been removed we're going to disassemble it and give it a good cleaning. This is a Walbro HDA model carburetor which is a very durable and good quality carburetor and I would always recommend cleaning and rebuilding this carburetor as opposed to buying one of the cheap internet ones to replace it with. I know everybody says, oh, just get a new one online for 20 bucks. Well, you know what? The new one you get online for 20 bucks is nowhere near the quality that these original carburetors are. And you're going to have trouble with them from day one. They just aren't going to work the way you expect them to. All the little hookups and connections and adjustment screws aren't going to be the same. It may require modification. It's just not worth messing with those cheap new carburetors that they're selling online rebuild the old one. All right, we're going to remove the fuel pump and diaphragm covers on both sides. We're going to pull out the high and low speed adjustments and we're going to blow a bunch of carburetor and air through it to clean it out and put it back together hopefully without having to buy a rebuild kit. Now before removing those set screws on the carburetor, I always run them in all the way and count the number of turns so I know where to reset them for our startup. The high was in one full turn, and the low was, or I should say, the high was turned out one full turn, and the low was turned out one and a half turns, which kind of lead me to believe that was the problem in the first place. The customer reported that it runs real good, except when it gets to a high speed under a load, it seems to die out, which tells me that it wasn't getting enough gas in a high speed circuit, so I should just open the high speed a little bit. Maybe another half turn on the high speed screw would have solved the problem. But, like I say, it's kind of dirty, and it's an old saw. I wanted to clean it out and have a good look at it, and use this as an example to show you guys how to fix this and what to do. If we bought a carb kit for it, it would come with a metering arm, along with the needle up front. But this is, seems to be working quite well. Also, the fuel pump diaphragm with the gasket. It's nice and soft and supple, no damage or stiffness to it. And the same thing with the diaphragm and gasket on the other side. It's very soft and flexible. I don't see any problems with reusing either one of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the carb cleaner 
we're going to blow out all the holes in it and all the little nooks and crannies and then we're going to reassemble it and adjust it when i remove the adjustment screws i always place the high speed screw on top and the low speed screw on bottom it high and low that way i don't get confused which one's which because on a lot of the carburetors you can screw them into the wrong hole very easily all right let's reassemble it now and when we put this particular one almost all these this one here the uh spacer goes closest to the body on the carb and the pump goes above it but on the other side with the check mechanism here and the diaphragms the diaphragm goes onto the carburetor and then the spacer above it so just take it back uh, put it back together the same way you took it apart and you'll be fine